Hey everybody, this is Video Fort Brendan back with another exciting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to modify effects once you've applied them to your clips. There are various types of effects in Premiere Pro and with each effect there's, there's several different ways that you can adjust each effect. For this tutorial I've picked two different tools or effects that cover a, a pretty broad range of ways to modify your effects. I chose RGB curves and the fast color corrector tool. So once you add an effect to a clip, most of the time it's not going to have the, the result that you want. To show you guys what I mean, both the RGB curves and fast color corrector, once you apply them to a clip, they don't have any sort of modifications to them at all, so they actually won't make a difference in your clip. So I've put the same clip side by side, one with the, with the modifications that I did to the curves and the fast color corrector, and one that has the effects in it, but hasn't been modified. So let's go ahead and look at that. This is with modification, this is without modification. So to modify RGB curves, basically what you do is you go into each line, there's the master red, green, and blue, and you create anchor points, and then you can pull these anchor points anywhere you want, uh, and they affect the clips in different ways. Generally to add contrast, I'll throw a anchor point in the middle, an anchor point right there, which is where the highlights live, the highlights of the shot, and an anchor point down here in the shadows. And the middle is where the, the mid-tones are. Something I generally do when I add contrast is create an S-curve, uh, which basically means you're creating an S with the master line. The shot's looking a little dark, so I'm going to boost the mid-tones a little bit. Uh, you can go into the individual colors, so I'm looking at this shot and it looks a little green to me, so I'm going to just pull down the overall green levels. So just click, create your anchor point, and I'm going to pull it down because it's a little, a little green. That's looking pretty good, not quite so green anymore, before, after, just from a simple S-curve and pulling out the colors that don't belong. So that's how you modify RGB curves, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the fast color corrector. The main things I use in the fast color corrector are this giant color wheel, uh, saturation. Sometimes I'll mess around with the levels, which are essentially the same thing as uh, curves, but you can be far more precise with RGB curves. So the shot's looking a little gray, so I'm going to add some blue into it. I'm going to add some blue into it using the color wheel. So basically, you click on the little circle right here, and anywhere you pull it, the shot gets a kind of a tint of whichever color you pull it towards. The farther you pull it, the more intense that color gets. Look at some before and after. You can also adjust the intensity of it with this, with this bar by pulling it back and forth. And the shot's looking pretty desaturated. So I'm going to come down here to the saturation, boost that up a little bit. I'm going to go 140. Uh, there's a few different ways you could do that. You could click it and type in the amount you want, or you can click and drag, and it becomes like a slider. You drag your mouse to the right, it adds saturation. You drag it to the left, it pulls, set, it pulls the colors out. Or another thing you could do is click this little arrow and the bar comes down. And you can be even more precise than using it as a slider. Anyway, so those are the three basic methods to modifying effects within Premiere Pro. Thanks again for watching another exciting video for tutorial. Check back in next week for more tips and tricks. Thanks again.